Hi, hello, welcome back to Home School. This is your class 10 mathematics. We are in a revision schedule of most expected questions in mathematics. I hope everybody are perfect with the theorems. In our last session, we have completed all four important theorems. Now, today in this session, I am going to start from pair of linear equations in two variables. In this chapter, we can expect three questions. One question will be for MCQ. In that question, they may ask you, either it may be the standard form or ratio comparison. If they may give you any two equations and they will ask, how will be the lines? Whether they will be intersecting or a parallel or constant or how many solutions do they have? Whether they are consistent or inconsistent. These all type of questions they may ask in one mark, multiple choice question. So if you are perfect with all the formulas or ratios, what I have given in the video, then you may answer that MCQ. If you feel that you missed any of these ratios basic, just go back to the formulas video and the link is provided in the description. Then come back to this video. One mark, they may ask anything regarding the ratios. Now coming to two marks, they will give you two equations two pair of linear equations they will give you and they ask to solve. There are four methods to solve any equations. Those are substitution method, elimination method, cross multiplication method and graphical method. All methods we get the same answer. Suppose in two marks question, if they give you any two equations and ask to solve any method you can choose of your own choice. Suppose if they specify solve the equations by using substitution method means only that method we are going to solve. Only elimination method, that method only. Only cross multiplication. If they specify the method, you choose that method. Otherwise, any of your choice. Okay, four marks. Two equations will be given, you need to solve them graphically. That question is fixed. In this session, I am going to take two examples, solve them in substitution method and also elimination method. In your next session, we are going to discuss cross multiplication and graphical method. Right? First problem, x minus y is equal to 26, x minus 3y is equal to 0. In substitution method, Observe the equations first properly. x, y, x, 3, y. Which term is small? You just go with that term. See so here 1x, 1, 1, y. Okay, no problem. So any one variable you can take. So let me take the first equation. In solution, rewrite this given, given x minus y is equal to 26 and x minus 3y is equal to 0. Mark them 1 and 2, equation 1 and equation 2. Now, take any one equation. Let me consider first equation, x minus y is equal to 26. Transpose this y other side, minus y transpose other side, x is equal to 26 plus y. Right? Now this x value, what is x value? 26 plus y, substitute in the second equation, right? Write that one only here, substitute, substitute x is equal to 26 plus y in equation 2. If you want, you can mark this equation 3. Now consider the second equation, x minus 3y equal to 0. In x place, write 26 plus y minus 3y equal to 0. y minus 3y will be minus 2y. 26 minus 2y equal to 0. Minus 2y transpose other side. 26 is equal to 2y. 2 multiple transpose 26 by 2. That will be 2 1s are 2 3s are. Therefore, y is equal to 13. We need to find x and y value. We got only y value. This y value substitute in any one of the equation. So, let me write here. 
substitute substitute y is equal to 13 in equation 1 2 or 3 anything you can take so let me take x is equal to 26 plus y x is equal to 26 plus 13 x is equal to 39 therefore finally therefore the solutions of the two pair of linear equations are x is equal to 39 and y is equal to 13 let me repeat again take the two equations in a solution with a given and mark them 1 and 2 now consider any one equation rearrange the equation in such a way that only one variable should be on left hand side so i have taken first equation x minus y is equal to 26 minus y transpose on this side x is equal to 26 plus y substitute x is equal to 26 plus y in another equation don't substitute in same equation right substitute in another equation x minus 3y is equal to 0, 26 plus y minus 3y equal to 0. y minus 3y will be minus 2y, minus 2y transpose other side plus 2y. 2y is equal to 26, y is equal to 13. This y value substitute in any one of the equation and get x value. Therefore, the solutions of these two equations are x is equal to 39 and y is equal to 13. Right? So, let me go to the next problem. Same manner. Same manner. I am doing another example here. X minus 5y is equal to 8. So, in solution, start writing. Given, given x minus 5y is equal to 8. Mark this first equation. And your next equation is 3x plus 5y is equal to 4. Mark the second equation. Now take any one of the equation, your choice. Now you can write here, consider, consider equation 1 also you can write. You can write there also, consider. What is equation 1? x minus 5y is equal to 8. Rearrange this equation in such a way only x term should be in the LHS side. Minus 5y, if it is transposed, it will be plus 5y. 5y plus 8. x is equal to 5y plus 8. Now, substitute. Substitute x is equal to 5y plus 8 in equation 2. So, take the second equation. 3x plus 5y is equal to 4. In x place, I should substitute 5y plus 8. While you are substituting, please take a bracket here. 5y plus 8 plus 5y is equal to 4. Multiply from brackets. 3 into 5y, 15y. Plus 3 eighths, 24. Plus 5y is equal to 4. 15y plus 5y will be 20y is equal to this 24 plus 24 transpose other side minus 24 20y is equal to 4 minus 24 it will be minus 20 then send this 20 other side it will be divided minus 20 by 20 it will be y is equal to minus 1 we got y value. Substitute in any one of the equation and find x value. Substitute y is equal to minus 1 in equation 2. Let's take the equation 2. 3x plus 5y is equal to 4. y value substitute 3x plus 5 into minus 1 is equal to 4. 3x plus into minus, minus 5 and 5 is equal to 4. Minus 5 transpose other side, 3x is equal to 4 plus 5. 3x is equal to 4 plus 5, 9. x is equal to 9 by 3, 3 3 is 9. Therefore, x is equal to 3. 
Therefore, x is equal to how much? 3. Therefore, the solutions of these two equations are x is equal to 3 and y is equal to minus 1. Then how can we check whether our answer is right or wrong? There is a method. After completing your problem, just substitute that value in the given question and check whether LHS is equal to RHS or not. Okay, let's check here. X is how much? 3. Y is minus 1. Let me substitute in the first equation. 3 minus 5 into minus 1. Minus into minus plus 5 answer 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. Yes, we got the correct answer. Similarly, let us check this answers there. X is equal to 39. Y is equal to 13. 39 minus 13, it will be 26. So therefore, both the answers we got both are correct. Then if you understand these two problems, you can take some homework problems. So here, x plus y is equal to 14. x minus y is equal to 4. 3x minus 5y is equal to minus 1. And x minus y is equal to minus 1. 2x minus y is equal to 2. 4x minus 6y is equal to 4. x plus y is equal to 7. And x minus y is equal to 1. 3x plus y is equal to 7. And 4x minus y is equal to 7. Along with that homework problems, do these two problems also again. Not only these children, if you want to become perfect, practice more and more examples or take some more extra questions and solve them by using substitution method, then this method you will be perfect. Yeah, problem number 16, by elimination method, we are going to solve the same two problems which we have solved by using substitution method, right? In elimination method, we are going to take same examples now. First one, x minus y is equal to 26 and x minus 3y equal to 0. So, in solution, rewrite the equations again. Given x minus y is equal to 26, Mark it first equation, x minus 3y equal to 0, mark it second equation. How to solve in this method? By elimination process means you are going to eliminate one variable. When you eliminate one variable, we are going to get another variable answer. That answer substitute in any one of the equation and get eliminated variable answer. Right? Therefore, we are going to get two variables value. Let us begin. Observe the two equations carefully. When you have same variable and same sign, what we are going to do? We are going to subtract. Subtract equation 1 and equation 2. x minus y is equal to 26. x minus 3y is equal to 0. Right? Take a line. When you are doing subtraction, change the sign. You have plus x here. Take a negative sign here. You have minus. So change the sign when you are subtracting. Now, x minus x will be cancelled. Minus y plus 3y, it will be 2y. 26 minus 0, it will be 26. And this 2 multiple transpose other side. 26 by 2. 2 13s are. Therefore, what is your y value? Y value was 13. X value was eliminated here. You got y value. Now, this y value substitute in any one of the equation. So, let me write here. Substitute y is equal to 13 in equation 1. In equation 1. X minus y is equal to 26 x minus y value is 13. 13 is equal to 26. Minus 13, send other side. x is equal to 26 plus 13. x is equal to 39. Therefore, finally, what you can say? Therefore, solutions of the two equations are x is equal to 39 and y is equal to 13. Right? The same answer we got before in substitution method also. Same answers we get, but the methods are different. Similarly, we are going to take another example and solve by elimination method. Observe the two equations. x minus 5y is equal to 8 and 3x plus 5y is equal to 4. 
In solution, write with a given data, given x minus 5y is equal to 8, 3x plus 5y is equal to 4. Observe the equations first. Here you can see minus 5y plus 5y. Minus 5y plus 5y directly will be cancelled when you add the equations. So, start writing here. Add equation 1 and equation 2. On adding, what you are going to get? One variable will be eliminated. 5y is equal to 4. Right? No changing of sign. Understand here, when you are adding, no sign will be changed. When you are subtracting, the second equation signs will be reversed. Right? So, here minus 5y plus 5y will be cancelled. x plus 3x, 4x. 8 plus 4 will be 12. x is equal to 12 by 4. That is, x is equal to 3. Now this x value substitute in any one of the equation. Let me go with the second equation. Substitute x is equal to 3 in equation 2. Any equation you can substitute. 3x plus 5y is equal to 4. 3 into 3 plus 5y is equal to 4. 5y is equal to 4. 3, 3 is a 9. 9 transfers other side. Minus 9. 5y is equal to 4 minus 9 is minus 5. Now this continuation right here. y is equal to minus 5 by 5. 5 ones. Therefore y is equal to minus 1. Therefore finally what is the statement you are going to write? Therefore the solutions of the given two pair of linear equations are x is equal to x is equal to how much you got? 3 and y is equal to minus 1. Is this clear? The method is very simple but the thing is you need to practice more and more examples. Right? So I have given you homework for substitution method. How many problems? 5 problems. The same 5 problems you take again and solve by using elimination method. Okay? So with this, I am going to end my session. In our next session, we are going to continue with the next problem. Until then, keep watching. Thank you all.